Again, this is a legal Pokemon, guys. I will take this into an online battle and prove it to you. So let's take a look at this legal Pokemon. So first off, it's a shiny Zapdos. Zapdos is not allowed to be shiny. Galarian Zapdos. It just, it can't happen. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Not, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield The Crown Tundra video. Alright guys, so as I'm sure many of you know, I recently had put out a video uh, about a couple months back on how to tell if a certain Pokemon was hacked. Right, and I really went over some of the less obvious ways of telling Pokemon's hacked, such as checking its IVs, checking memories, and just looking for any inconsistencies and using that to determine whether or not a Pokemon was hacked. However, when making that video, I noticed that in the comments, we had a lot of people, I guess, not understand what it really meant to be a hacked Pokemon. So I had a lot of people who came in and said, well, if it's legal, does it really matter? And then I know a lot of you may not even know what legal means in terms of Pokemon. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take some time, I wanted to explain the difference between real Pokemon, legal Pokemon, and illegal hacked Pokemon. So keep in mind, legal hacked Pokemon are still hacked Pokemon, and uh, we'll talk about exactly what to look for in a legal hacked Pokemon versus an illegal hacked Pokemon. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, they're both still hacked, guys. So uh, let's jump into it. Also, before I get too deep into it here, I did want to point out that we also had a lot of great comments and a lot of great discussion, and I'm really happy to explain anything further in the comments, guys, so please let me know. I try to respond to every comment uh, on these videos to help the community learn as much as possible about hacked Pokemon. All right, so let's jump in. So I'm going to be taking a look at some particularly hacked Pokemon today, and I'm going to explain the difference between a real Pokemon and some that... Um, are uh, a little less than real. All right, so I, again, full disclosure, just like last video, I did have a hacker create some Pokemon specifically for this video. Um, so yes, you will be seeing hacked Pokemon. No, I did not hack them myself. My Switch is not modded. I cannot do that, but I know in extensive detail what goes into hacking a Pokemon. So first and foremost, let's talk about a real Pokemon, right? So, so here's a real Pokemon. I bred it and I hatched it myself. Um, I gave it Pokerust by transferring it from another Pokemon, but uh, a real Pokemon should have no red flags, right? Um, it's shiny, of course, right? Um, you'll see that it has been EV trained. It has the blue EV training border, which is a slightly more legit border. Uh, it has an ability of guts. It doesn't really matter now with ability patches. You can change your ability to whatever you'd like, um, but we'll see that the only move that's been PP maxed is the move that needs to be PP maxed in this case, which is close combat. Um, you could argue maybe for another move, but not really necessary for, for Obstagoon. Um, all of this looks right, right? So we see that it was hatched with the Jolly Nature. It was hatched and um, received on the same date, which isn't always the case, but it looks a little bit more legitimate when it's hatched and received on the same date. And it was hatched right next to a daycare on Route 5. Again, so this is what we look for in a legitimate Pokemon. And no ribbons or marks in this case. This Pokemon was bred um, using the Masuda method before marks were a thing. So this is a completely real Pokemon. Now, a lot of times, a legal hacked Pokemon will look just like a legitimate Pokemon. So let me give you guys an example of a legal hacked Pokemon, right? So... Uh, the example of a legal hacked Pokemon that I'm going to give is going to be this Moltres here, right? So here's an example of a legal hacked Pokemon. So by legal, when people are talking about a legal hacked Pokemon versus like an illegal hacked Pokemon, they simply mean that it can be traded and it can be used to battle online, right? So in the case of this Moltres, right, if we take a look at it, there's really not too much that stands out, the, right? So the only major thing that's going to stand out um, if I go out of the menu and I look at the IVs, that would give me a red flag, is that this Moltres has six IVs, right? It has perfect IVs, not in attack, and it's got best and everything else. So the odds there of that happening are super, super low because I can tell in the case of this Moltres that it has not been hyper-trained, and the fact that I managed to hit zero attack is a little bit... All right, it's starting to, it looks a little sketchy already. Obviously, it's not shiny or anything that's an obvious red flag for Moltres, um, but, uh, I can take a look at the moves, which look fine. The PP ups are a little bit weird. Like some moves have been PP upped, others haven't, but again, that's fine. That makes sense for competitive Pokemon, right? Moves like protect, chances are it's worth having that PP up in case you run into somebody with pressure, stuff like that. Um, this all looks correct. Uh, looks like this Pokemon in this case, uh, I did have this Pokemon as a gentle nature. And then I hacked it over, basically. I used, uh, I, I simulated a, a nature mint to make it a timid nature. 
So this is something that's very commonly done in the top echelon of hacking. So really good hackers, they're gonna do this nature mint strategy all the time because it makes the Pokemon look more legitimate and it benefits certain moves. But the at the end of the day, if you're hacking a Pokemon for something like tournament play, you have to be very, very careful to make it look legitimate. Otherwise, you know, people will call you out on it and nobody wants that. So in this case, uh, this Pokemon was simulated gentle uh, and then switched over um, in the hacking software. You don't even have to leave the hacking software. You don't have to use Nature Mint to make it look timid. It's a very easy thing for a hacker to do. And then, of course, uh, I've, of course I'm going to give it some fun ribbons like the Master Rank ribbon and the Angry Mark ribbon. Or Angry Mark, because, again, for a hacker, that's very easy to do. So, again, this Pokemon is very legal. Um, but because it has the Angry Mark, the Master Rank ribbon, I'm not a Master Rank tier player. Uh, so that's obviously a red flag if you if you see me doing it. Um, it, it with with the IVs, you can tell that it's hacked, right? So it's it's definitely a, a hacked Pokemon, but it's tournament legal. I could take this into an online battle, and it would be good to go. So a lot of people will argue that who cares? Who cares if this Pokemon's hacked? Because if it can make it into a tournament, that's all that really matters. It, it makes it past the Nintendo hack sensors and Pokemon Home and Pokemon Bank. I can trade it. It makes it past those hacking sensors. Well, let me show you guys another example of a legal hacked Pokemon that uh, is a little bit goofier. All right, so for that, I've got my my volunteer here, Zapdos. So first things first, it has six IVs, and it's holding a Master Ball. So those should already be two red flags for you. If you get a Pokemon traded that's holding a Master Ball, that should be your first flag. And six IVs, again, is, is darn near impossible like we talked about with Moltres, right? It's something like a, a 1 in 30,000 chance or something like that. But anyway, let's jump in and look at this tournament legal. Again, this is a legal Pokemon, guys. I will take this into an online battle and prove it to you. So let's take a look at this legal Pokemon. So first off, it's a shiny Zapdos. Zapdos is not allowed to be shiny. Galarian Zapdos. It just, it can't happen. It, uh, it's just, it's literally not allowed. The OT is how fake am I? So clearly a real, a real Pokemon. If we go over and look at the IVs, right? Uh, so it has zero EVs, which is, which is strange for a completely maxed Pokemon. Uh, it's got the perfect nature, right? And it's got the perfect nature by the way it was caught. Um... So attack up, special attack down, all of that looks fine, right? Of course it's not hacked. Its moves have all been PP maxed, even moves that shouldn't be PP maxed. And of course the moves, uh, obviously I'm trolling here, none of these moves you'd actually put on a Zapdos, right? This thing is not meant to ever be used or seen the light of day of, right? So if somebody's honestly taking moves like light screen and agility and using a PP max on them, that should be a red flag to you guys. All right, finally, the Pokemon was caught with a perfect nature. It was not nature minted. So not only did I get a perfect 6 IV Zapdos, that was shiny. It also happened to be the perfect nature. So now the odds of this happening are getting lower and lower. But hey, I want to point out this Pokemon is still legal. It was met on date 420-2069 because why not? We're making a legal Pokemon. We don't care if it looks hacked or not. And then finally, uh, <laughs> this Pokemon has... Every, sorry, let me jump back in. This Pokemon has every single ribbon, but wait, it gets better. Not does it, not only does it have every single ribbon, it's also got every single mark in the game. Because yes, for some reason, you can make a Pokemon with every single mark, even though a Pokemon can only have one mark. So let's go ahead and give it uh, the scowling mark, just for fun. Um, also, I want to point out just, just how, how bonkers some of these ribbons are. Like this ribbon here, a ribbon awarded to a world champion in the Pokemon World Championships. Yeah, you can, you can do that. You, you, won't, most whole, you most wholly and totally can do that. All right. So... That is our little buddy here named Buggy, Buggy the Clown. Uh, so uh, again, this is a, again, I want to point out by the standards of a lot of tournament players, this is a legal Pokemon and it is okay for me to be using this Pokemon in competitive play, um, but it is very obviously hacked. Okay, so to give you guys a change of pace, let me show you what a illegal or an illegitimate hacked Pokemon is. So a Pokemon that cannot make it through the trade filters and a Pokemon that it will not allow us to battle with online. And because I don't modify my own Switch data, I'm going to show you guys what it will show you if someone tries to trade you an illegal Pokemon. So I'll show you an illegal trade Pokemon in the, in the summary and what it looks like, the message you get if somebody tries to trade you that Pokemon. So check it out. All right. So like I said, let's take a look at a illegitimate hacked Pokemon. So an illegal hacked Pokemon. 
All right, so here we have an example of uh, a shiny lock Pokemon, so a shiny Spectre. It is currently impossible to get this Pokemon shiny right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, so let's see what happens when we try to trade for this Pokemon. All right, we get the normal tension message. And then finally, we see at the bottom, we get the message, you can't trade this Pokemon. So uh, I'll pop that message up again here on the screen. But uh, yeah, so if you ever see this message when trading with another player, just stop trading with them immediately. It means they accidentally tried to trade you at least one super hacked Pokemon. And for them to even have this Pokemon on their account, on their game, it means that they have been able to successfully modify switch data. So again, if you ever see this message pop up when trading with another player, immediately stop trading with them. You know that other player is a hacker and uh, that should probably be the end of that trading process. So uh, again, guys, I just wanted to show you guys what a illegal hacked Pokemon looks like and it, how it will not make it past even the simplest of Nintendo's trade sensors. Alrighty guys, I hope that clip was helpful and I, I hope you guys were able to to see again what it looks like when someone tries to trade a Pokemon that falls into the illegal hacked category and what the difference there is. So in the case of that Spectrier, it was a um, shiny locked Pokemon, which I mean, I guess also so is this Zapdos, but whatever. Uh, so Nintendo sometimes misses some things. But uh, so that Pokemon is shiny locked. It is impossible to get it shiny right now. And it's so impossible that Nintendo has decided to lock it from being traded or seeing any competitive play whatsoever. They should have done that with this Zapdos as well. But because they didn't, it's technically a legal Pokemon. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, guys, really quickly is obviously Nintendo announced a ban wave. And they're really targeting people who are hacking their game software. So people who are actually going in, injecting Pokemon, like the hacker that uh, made these Pokemon for me. And they're trying to get those people banned, right? Um, and one of the biggest groups that they're targeting is Pokemon with link names, right? So here's a Pokemon, a fake Noggendel that I got. Um, and I'm, I know I pronounced that wrong. That I've got from uh, the, the GTS. And uh, just to show you guys what I mean... Um, just because this comment came up a lot, you can see the original trainer is Mitsuki.tv. So I looked this up, and luckily I didn't get a virus on my computer, so that's always a plus. Um, but I looked this up, and this is basically a, a website that links to a Twitch account that gives away fake Pokemon, right? So again, if you ever see a Pokemon with an OT that is uh, a link, it's probably going to be fake, and Nintendo is, is, is targeting them. So, looking at you, Machamps.com, uh, if your guys see Pokemon with links in their name, they're fake, and soon, uh, I think the goal for Nintendo is actually to start banning these players and stopping fake Pokemon with link names, which again is just advertising at this point, uh, from going online. So, keep that in mind. If you see a link name Pokemon, it's fake. You should get rid of it. Um, yeah, I got this one just randomly for putting something up for offer in the GTS, and somebody traded me back this monstrosity. So I thought uh, before I release it, I may as well show you all what it looks like. All right. Now, finally, I do want to point out that not all hacked Pokemon are created equal, right? Some hacked Pokemon are completely undetectable. And this is probably the biggest sticking point and thing that I need to take away. So I do have some people say, at the end of the day, you're just guessing. And for some Pokemon... Looking at you, Zapdos. I'm obviously not just guessing, right? But for some Pokemon, they are correct. Technically, I'm doing... I'm not just guessing, I'm doing math. But, uh, you know, if we look at some of these Pokemon... Again, sometimes it is just a guess. So even even this uh, Colossal here, right? It's got six IVs, so it's a good guess. But there's still a 1 in 32 chance that happens. Getting that to line up with the Shiny chance, it's too rare for me to ever trade for it. But... Like, uh, example being the Moltres or, or any other number of hacked Pokemon, it is, it is very simple to hack a Pokemon um, that looks completely real, right? This is a little sketchy, of course. Like, I've already seen way too many red flags on this one. Um, and, you know, this is another Pokemon that I had hacked for this video. Uh, but, again, like, some Pokemon will say that their IVs were hyper-trained or anything like that, right? And any of these things should be red flags to you guys that there's something wrong, right? So, any, any Pokemon can be hacked. Keep that in mind. So if somebody's trading you a Pokemon, and even if they say it's not hacked, even if there aren't a ton of red flags, if the trade is too good to be true, it probably is. So keep that in mind, guys. If, if the trade doesn't make sense for the other player, just don't do the trade. All right, guys. So again, I, I want to point that out just, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. But I did promise you we would be taking this, this uh, Galarian Zapdos 
as fake as it is into a battle. So let's go ahead and put it in a battle team. And uh, I, I strongly recommend you don't do this because now if this thing sees online play, it could flag me for Nintendo and I could get banned. Um, so a lot of people say you won't get banned for using tournament legal hacked Pokemon. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put up Nintendo's terms of service here for just a second. Right? So it's very, very clear that using hacked Pokemon is against TOS, right? And if you honestly expect me to believe that I could take this Zapdos right here into a tournament and not get banned from Nintendo for life from tournaments, you're lying to me. So again, keep the use common sense, guys. You can get hacked at any time for breaking TOS, even if you think you're not going to. So even though Nintendo is pretty rare to hack individual players for using hacked Pokemon, they have done it in the past, uh, especially for using them in tournaments. Um, again, Nintendo's main focus for bans is to target people who are creating the hacked Pokemon. But anytime you take a hacked Pokemon online, you do risk a ban. So again, hopefully if Nintendo does bug, uh, ban me, I can reach out to them. And uh, again, this is for, for educational purposes, right? So, and I will not actually be using this team and abusing this team to win. Goodness, I have too many teams. All right, let's take this team real quick and move all these guys out. And let's just make a team here with my real Pokemon. And, of course, these super, super fake Pokemon. All right, so I've got a couple real volunteers here with Halucha. And my wonderful Pelipper nicknamed Gale. It's something I got from another player. Uh, let's take the Moltres in there. And we'll bring Colossal as well. All right, so we've created a team. So let's, let's take this Zapdos online just to show you guys that it is indeed possible to take a super, super obviously hacked Pokemon that's technically legal into an online battle. So here we go, guys. All right, and we're going to take it into a ranked battle. Uh, so somebody's about to get a free ranked battle win, but I just want to show you guys that it definitely works. So here we go. Cool. Great. I was in great ball tier. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so let's do a, a single battle. Uh, no, we will not show my, my, my team info to the other player. Uh, just, just because uh, I don't want another chance I can get reported for that. All right, and let's go ahead and select our super fake team. All right, where's our Zapdos at? Here it is, team two. All right, so it's letting us search for a trainer, which means we've already made it past the first hack check, in case anybody's curious. So we found another trainer against Edge, in this case. And Edge is going to think I'm the biggest hacker ever, but uh, we're going we're gonna to use the Zapdos just because I want to prove a point to you guys. And heck, we'll even use the other two fake Pokemon in this team as well. We'll use Moltres and Colossal, and uh, we're good to go. We are going to immediately we are gonna immediately forfeit, uh, just so the other player knows that we're not trying to cheat to win. But uh, I figured we have to give this a shot. We have to show you guys what this looks like, just to prove the point that a fake Pokemon can be taken into a tournament and that does not make it real. All right, here goes. This guy is, is probably going to, uh, this guy's probably gonna hate me, but here goes nothing. Zapdos the Stern. I forgot that I gave it a mark, that's awesome. So there you guys have it. There's, there's my fake Zapdos with its fake moves. Uh, let's use agility really quick just for fun, and then we'll go ahead and back out. <laughs> we didn't even get the agility off. That's right, because it has no EVs. Okay. All right. But that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit. Again, I'm not actually trying to cheat here and beat the other player. So uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and exit out of this battle. Hopefully, he, he makes a choice here pretty soon so I can exit out quicker. All right. Perfect. All right, guys. So there you have it. There is my, there is my loss. But again, I was able to successfully take the fakest Pokemon you and I have ever seen into a ranked battle. All right, guys. Uh, so there you have it. There is the difference between a real Pokemon, a hacked legal Pokemon, and then in the case of Spectre, or what an illegal hacked Pokemon looks like to Nintendo and to Nintendo servers. So again, guys, I really hope this was helpful to kind of clarify and... Um, for any of you guys that got the Moltres reference, that was in 
fully meant in satire. I was nothing against the player who used that Moltres or a Moltres like that one. It was it was created to look just like it to be funny. But uh, again, guys, if you have any any questions about about what I did in the video or about the last video I made on hacked Pokemon, uh, please let me know down in the comments. I try to respond to every comment about hacked Pokemon just so I can help you guys learn more about them. So uh, yeah, guys, this was Let's Not. And uh, if you guys want to see more Pokemon content or more videos like this, if you guys like this video, uh, please feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video. All right, guys, have a good one.